Welcome to Old Man PC Play, and I'm your host as always, Old Man. Today we're gonna continue where we left off in the Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Time to have a go at this myself. Well, that's grand. Yes, it's for the best, I think. I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward, your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir. A very good morrow to you. Are you not loved? No. Are you not wanted by your wives, families, and... Countrymen! How else to explain your government's complete disinterest in your well-being? Hostages for nonsense! These were my only terms! Charleston can see this mess. This is the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. So where's the medicine? We sent a party ashore to partner with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise, he says. I'll handle it. Give me a day. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? Aye, and in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. Someone out there has prepared the medicines, just in case. Ah, but they're stalling, thinking of ways to avoid paying it out. Aye, right, so let's find where they've gathered and hope for the best. Careful, Captain, we're drifting close to a watchtower. another way. All stop!
Yes, you! Intruder! I need some help here! Intruder! Help! <laughs> Around here, we may never get out. Sure, they don't spy us trailing them. Steady as she goes, Captain. Told 
me and flay all you devils. Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. He might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now you get it. You should have bartered, mate. He has returned, Captain! What's the take? Two crates. And the means for mixing additional doses. Uh, that's right thinking. Precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rags? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Will you not thank him? We should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor, he's bound to muster more soldiers. Now you go on ahead. I, I got some business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On NASA. Look, lad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth quiet and cozy voyage, I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself captain another year. Now we'll meet again, lad. He's waiting for us. I just watched some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbeard was mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. to him leaping across the deck of his boat and sorry his ship not boat but jumping around the deck of his ship swinging from ropes and fighting like a devil i mean obviously we're gonna have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good but it could be great i'm getting a shiver in my timbers just thinking about it <laughs> I hope we're not late. No, you can go right... Hi, Melanie, I saw you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Should me long. Hello? Hello? Do you have a second? Of course you do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correctly. Another locked door. Not a problem. Voila! You now have level two security clearance. Not bad for your first few weeks. Find the camera controls. I'll update your communicator. This is an interesting security measure. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access.
interesting security measure. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access.
As gullible as ever. Now, hurry down to the lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. <laughs> Don't even think about ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. too long. Oh, come on. It's not encrypted code, for God's sakes. It's just a bloody coffee. Oh, hooray. It's our old friend. Hey there. I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh, you said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the perks. Let's see it. Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Ciao, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. Well done, friend. Very well done. Apologies for my temper tantrum there. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. Trust me. Go on back to work. We'll be in touch. Security was at my desk. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, ben, um, ben, on se verra là-bas. I have an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. Caroline, come away! Don't exert yourself! I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline. Not when I need your faith the most. Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> and how is it you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? to know my secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like. Or a large one, if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh! Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus. George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the King's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? Lily-livered 
Punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigo. I assumed our reception would be a troubled one. Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shake than I expected to see from any pirate. And I promise fair treatment to all who live here. While longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that he will be equitable. Won't do you a little good. Men like him are a blight on his majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The king wants them eradicated, above all else. Is this the town square? As close to one as we've ever had. Incredible. Rackham, Vane, the governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cork for him as well. Commodore Chamberlain, please see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. You should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Then these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Twaddle, Governor. We should sing every goddamn ship not flying the king's colors. To do otherwise predicts a certain weakness in our bearing. Silence, Commodore. I am the goddamn governor here, serving at the king's pleasure, and I will make the bloody decision. Is that clear, sir? Aye, sir. Your wishes are clear as crystal.
Leave the sharp Commodore. We're in position. Governor Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders. Dreaming, you dumb cur!
I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in the south. I am sorry for this, but in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace, Commodore Chamberlain. We are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the king's pardon and salvage what dignity we Please. own. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobby. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth he's telling, and you whelps can't handle it. But you, you forecastle headed fuddlers, see you at the gallows. You'll all be dead, men! Bastards! I need a drink. Thank you for watching, and see our videos for more gameplay options.